Hey guys, so today I have a fun and easy DIY project on how to stud and embellish your own clothes. I've been noticing this trend around a lot lately, so I thought I would just give it a try and save myself a little bit of money and just do this on my own. And since I have some things in my closet that I wanted to embellish already, I thought it would be perfect. So here's what you'll need. I have some studs that I ordered online, and I'll leave the link in the drop down, but I have cone and pyramid studs. And if you can't get your hands on those, you can always use metallic puff paint to create fake studs or you can just be really creative with them. I also grabbed a bunch of different embellishments like pearls, rhinestones, and jewel sliders. You can also grab like buttons or beads if you want and all of this can be found at Michael's. And I also have a hot glue gun and some pliers. And of course you'll need the garment that you want to embellish. This was actually an old sweatshirt that I got from Walmart for like $10. Okay, to start you just want to lay out a rough pattern of your design. And I'm only going to be embellishing the shoulders, so I'm just taking some studs and I'm using pyramid and cone studs here. I'm just going to lay it out, um, just kind of guesstimate the area you want to embellish, and I'm going to be doing the collar to the shoulder. So I'm just kind of creating a half circle here with my studs. The best thing about this is you can really get creative and customize it and you can always look at pictures online to give you ideas because I can tell you there's a lot of stores that are carrying similar tops like this and selling for a lot more so you're definitely saving money and you're making it customized. So I'm just kind of playing around with the embellishments to figure out what I want to use and it's nice to get everything laid out before you start so you have an idea of what it'll look like and I want to incorporate these flat back pearls that I have and I'll be applying them with a hot glue gun. But first I'm going to show you how to stud up your sweatshirt and it's actually really simple. Once you have all your studs in place, you're just going to take your stud with the prongs on one side and you'll notice they're a little bit sharp so they can go through the material that you're working with. Just lay it flat and push it through until the prongs go through on the other side, like so. Make sure the prongs go through completely so the stud lays flat on your sweatshirt on the other side. And then you're going to take a pair of pliers and you're going to bend the prongs inward. And you want to make sure the prongs are pushed down as far as you can to secure the stud in place and also just in case it scratches or snags anything. And there you have it! I'm just going to show you really quickly again with the pyramid stud. So it's the same thing, just have your stud laid down where you want it and then push through until the prongs go through the material on the other side. And then you're going to take your pliers again and bend down the prongs. And the prongs on this stud are actually really short for some reason, so you just want to make sure these are bent down pretty well so it doesn't move around. And don't worry if you have to take one out or move one around, it's really easy to just open up the prongs and move your stud. And now here I'm going to be applying my other embellishments. I have it laid out the way I'd like it. And with these I'm going to take a needle and thread and just sew them onto the sweatshirt. But don't worry if you're not so handy with a needle and thread, you can always just take a hot glue gun and glue the embellishments on. This might be a little bit easier for some people. Just make sure the glue that you're using is safe for fabric so your jewels don't come off in the wash. But as you can see here, um, the jewels all have little holes in the back of them so it's really easy to thread your needle in them. And it's very similar to sewing on a button if you've ever done that. So you just kind of follow the holes and put it through the material that you're working with. I'll just show you kind of quickly how I did this here. So I'm just going to pull the needle and thread through the holes and then I'm going to thread it back into the sweatshirt and just pull it tight so the jewel lays flat. Okay, now all my embellishments are sewn down, I'm going to take these flat back pearls that I have and I'm going to apply them with a little bit of hot glue. You can also use pearl beads and you can sew them on as well, but I just had these around so I'm going to use these. And you're just going to take um, some hot glue and just dot a little bit on the back of each pearl and then press them down. 
So I found this to be kind of tricky actually just because the pearl was so small and the hot glue was a little bit messy to work with. But this is what I did to make it easier. So just apply just a tiny bit of glue on the back. And I'm pretty sure I burnt myself like 20 times while I did this. So be careful when you're using a hot glue gun. They are super, super hot. And you want to press down firmly on the pearl for a few seconds to make sure it stays in place. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to apply one more and then I'll show you the finished product. Now that you're done, you're just going to repeat the same steps on the other side. Now I'm going to show you how I embellished this thrifted camo jacket that I got for $3. And I went ahead and studded the shoulders and collar with the same method that I showed you before. And I'm just going to be embellishing the pocket area. I didn't want to go too overboard so I'm just going to be using a few jewel sliders and rhinestones here. And I'm just going to lay out a rough pattern of the design that I want. So now I have my pattern laid out and I'm going to take my needle and thread again. I'm going to sew down my embellishments. So here are the final products of this DIY. I love that you can just take what you have in your closet already or thrift inexpensive things and change the look of it just by studying and embellishing it. And not to mention, it was really inexpensive to do at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas out of it. And if you decide to give it a try, I'd love to see what you guys create and you can add me on Twitter or Instagram. And make sure to leave a comment below if you want to see future DIY videos from me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!